to it. Well, as you know by my crazy old, I'm just uh, jumping into this meeting. I don't know how much you have been talking about uh, glaciers and the climate change and the impact on, on glaciers. But I, I, anyway, it's too late to regret and uh, I mean, I'm now going to uh, uh, give you a short review which might be <coughs> of interest to you when you later in the, in the discussion talk about uh, political consequences, economical and so on. So, this, I will just present you with some facts. The question, well, if you look at the globe, uh, and I will give a short global re uh, overview also. If you look at the, the globe of the Earth, ice is the largest freshwater uh, storage on the Earth, about 2.5-15 percent of all the uh, all the, the water on the on the earth. Okay. Anyway, and the question is, can we can we imagine a situation with no ice on the earth? Well, that is not a really interesting question. I can just tell you that if all this is melted. All the ice here on the earth is melted, sea level would rise by 120 meters or so, and, uh, and the entire circulation of the entire climate on, on earth would be very much different from what it is now. But this is not a, a real threat. So I will just uh, uh, give you a short review of what is more realistic and what is really happening. And, uh, and that is, first of all, the sea level is rising because of climate, the climate is warming. Lonnie Thompson went through that, there is no doubt about it. The climate is now warmer than, uh, than for, for thousands of years. And one of the consequences is that ice, ice is melted all around the world. The sea level is rising. Uh, throughout the 20th century, it's been rising by something like 20 centimeters, and uh, at an ex uh, expanding rate. And the prediction for the future, given several scenarios uh, from the climate debate, uh, are suggesting that the sea level might rise by something like 20 centimeters uh, towards the end of the century and half a meter. So this is much uh, more realistic than starting to discuss a world without ice. And uh, what is happening is that half of the sea level rise is due to thermal expansion of the ocean, because it's not only the atmosphere which is warming up, it's also the ocean. And uh, one quarter of this uh, sea, the contribution to sea level rise uh, originates from glaciers outside the polar regions, and so, uh, and not from Greenland. But if Greenland started to melt, seven meters uh, rise, uh, you, we would, well, the sea level rise would be equivalent to seven meters, and if Antarctica melts, it would be sixty meters. But this is not realistic. So let's just uh, keep to the facts. Uh, one, uh, one quarter of this is from glaciers outside the polar regions. The sea level rise is now for the moment three millimeters per year. And even though all the ice outside polar regions melted, the sea level uh, the contribution would be half a meter. So what is really worrying us is of course the potential contribution from Greenland and Antarctica. So, no, no, no. If we look, if we just look at where the glaciers are, 
Uh, I know that you, you, you are mainly concerned here about the northern uh, regions, the Arctic islands, Greenland of course, and the Arctic, Arctic islands of uh, Canada and the northern Europe, there's a lot of ice there. But as I said, um, they, they are classified as polar, and if they all melted it would be something like 70 meters, 60 from the Antarctic islands, and this from from Greenland. Well, the most obvious uh, uh, visible expression of the global warming and the climate <coughs> in the, uh, on the Earth, indeed, is what is happening not to the glaciers but to the sea ice cover, which is getting thinner. And uh, I'm sure you have been discussing that. It's getting about one meter thinner now than it was a uh, few decades ago. And uh, every summer, now, well, nowadays, uh, both the east and the west passage is, is uh, crossable with ships, and it's predicted to be the case in, well, throughout the summer, in, in something like 20 years. And, uh, So the main problems here in the, in the Northern Hemisphere is not so much uh, what is happening to Greenland but, uh, 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 as, you, as you, you, you have certainly been discussing what is happening here in the, in the central part of, of, the, of the Arctic Ocean. Now, the, climate, uh, the impact of climate change in the Arctic is just to summarize, uh, a substantial decrease in the Arctic sea ice, it was thinning and reduced in area. And it's also very important to, that when this uh, ice sheet is, uh, is receding, it is, uh, the climate change is amplified through reduction in the albedo because uh, ice, the ice cover, or the pack ice is reflecting solar energy well, most of the solar energy that when melted, the ocean itself it is going to absorb the, the solar energy. The, th the thawing of the permafrost and the release of met methane, I'm sure you have been discussing this, and then extinction of many organisms that, that are, well, for, for, for centuries and thousands of years have been adapted to northern habitats in the north, uh, that is to say, endemic species, which are, and uh, so this is just, I'm sure you have also been discussing that. But back to glaciers, the, the present prediction of the contribution of Greenland throughout the, the present century is indeed five centimeters. And it's first in the next century that modelers and glaciologists are expecting a, a rapid or in, rapidly increased contribution from Greenland to sea level rise. And that is because first you have to warm up the ice because the, most of the meltwater is refrozen. So it's first, in, when you've done all the, all the heating of, of the ice cap, then you can, uh, then the, the meltwater is able to drain into the ocean. And then it's expected that the Greenland, given the most likely climate scenarios, might disappear in 1,000 years. This was, but the mid-latitude glaciers are the glaciers which so far have given the main contribution to sea level rise. And they are rapidly uh, uh, declining. And here we are talking about the third pole, and I, uh, you had a lecture about the third pole, uh, which is the Himalayan region. The Alps glaciers are, are melting at a very rapid rate in Iceland, Norway, in the Pyrenees, in the Rocky Mountains, and, and the one along the western coast of America in Patagonia here in Peru and in New Zealand. And uh, 
<coughs> on the average, they are losing about one meter per year, every year, uh, evenly distributed over the entire glacier. So this is a very, very rapid uh, re recess of glaciers. And uh, earlier this week, we had a discussion about, well, a few days ago, we, we had a meeting here on the very serious problem in, in, the, uh, in the Himalaya region where more than one billion people are depending on uh, drainage of water uh, from the Himalaya regions into the main rivers in the south, south, southeast Asia, into Skankas, etc., Mekong, Yellow Rivers. So this is a really uh, serious problem. Uh, and finally, just to give you this overview of the glaciers, the tropical glaciers, which are uh, located then from 30 degrees north and 30 degrees south, that is a tropical region, they are almost disappearing, as Lonnie must have told you. And he has been uh, recovering information on, about climate change from, from ice cores in this area. And just before they disappear, and the record is lost forever. They are almost disappearing. And uh, now, just over to the to what is uh, my, might be of interest to you, and politics and also on. The impacts are as follows: the hydrology, the seasonal runoff changes are going to be different from what they are now. First, we will have excessive flooding. Um, water will arrive earlier than it needed in many of the regions. Uh, uh, glacier outburst floods will be starting uh, uh, in the beginning, when, uh, as long as the glaciers are there. There will be increased sediment <coughs> transport in the rivers. The filling of reservoirs for drinking supplies and domestic use will be a, a, a problem. Irrigation. Uh, many societies are uh, relying on irrigation and when the, there are droughts or low rain, they can rely on, on water from glaciers and so on. So there is a complete, and this is all realistic and, and already uh, threatening many, many nations all over uh, the, the world. The society is uh, or the regional planning or what the people nowadays call geoengineering which uh, some people hope to, might solve uh, uh, well as you, some, someone mentioned that uh, one alternative is suffering but then relying on geoengineering but anyway uh, we have to deal with development adaptation Engineering, transportation will be uh, difficult, design of roads, bridges, hydropower plants, tourists, ski resorts for supply the Alps, mountain recreation in general, food production in many uh, uh, countries all over the world will be uh, suffering from lack of fresh water from glaciers and, and snow. There will be reduced agricultural output. Uh, this will affect public health and sanitation. And there will be political conflicts, of course, because uh, water is the oil of the future. Uh, well, present-day oil. There are, there are changes in the ecosystem, in the animal, birds and fish habitats, uh, uh, and plants, and so on. And then, uh, in the ocean, there will be, as I uh, already mentioned, sea level rise, effects on coastal regions worldwide. And this is already a problem. Uh, okay, so I'll just, uh, th there's alteration in the ocean currents, in the thermal haline circulation, and I will also mention the, the albedo sources. <coughs> this may have been mentioned, how the world, uh, how heat is transported in the ocean. Uh, this is going to, to, to change, uh, the, uh, and uh, all, even the ocean currents around Iceland, where we are located now, and both warm air masses and ocean 
parents are keeping us warm. And uh, just a final point that uh, the IPCC gave a report in 2007, now they are working on another one. And it's obvious to glaciologists and uh, people working on the, uh, on the new one that uh, predictions about sea level rise, uh, contribution from glaciers, was uh, underestimated. And uh, you, you will see in the next one, even one meter of the present century, even up to two meters. So that is something that will be. Well, that, that's just the, the ongoing discussion for the moment. But this is uh, uh, maybe something, uh, a review or something which might, or might be a basis for further questions. Or, that was uh, my, my summary of recent glaciology. Thank you.